among you what envying strife and division if that is if that frequents your life you are at a milk level and the meat of the word and strong meat will not get rid of it because strong meat oh my god in heaven strong meat and the meat it assumes that you've already dealt with it at the milk level You know, I can walk into a room where there is a table full of food and it is absolutely no good to me until I walk over and I begin to partake of that food. Your pastors, they lay before you a great feast of the Word of God. Amen. But you think they're supposed to walk back there and hand feed you. And they're not. He's got to deal with us so that we are walking in pieces, so we are living examples for those constituents that he is bringing. Uh-huh, the lost, the unsaved, the wounded. Come on, we can't forget our assignment. I, I know we wanted titles and collars and gossips, but for real, we can't remember, we can't forget the assignment. The assignment is to the lost, the unsaved. Come on, the wounded. The downtrodden. Okay, how are we ever going to show them what it is that we're leading them to if we won't walk in? There's just some folk that are not qualified to speak into your life in this hour. I don't care what kind of collar or shirt they have on. Not everybody's qualified to speak into your life. And you better know who has the licensure to speak into your life. You better know who qualifies in God's standard to speak into your life. Because what God wants to do, he wants to break everything that has been stalking you off of you. He wants to break everything that's been trying to shut you down off of you. I want to walk across the water. I, I want to raise the dead. If get, look, if the devil gets on your life, I want to be able to come and snatch that devil off of you. 